Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, hi, I'm Suhanna. Uh, Moose and Gel. We know Moose and Gel are OG stylers. For me, I've been using mousse and hair gel since I was like 13 years old when my hair first became wavy. Back then, I obviously didn't know what I was doing and didn't know which gels and mousses worked for me. Now I've found quite a few that I like and today we're gonna go over which one is better for wavy hair. Is it mousse? Is it gel? Should you use both? Let's go over this. So first we'll go over mousse. Everyone's, I think everybody's number one OG styler. I think everyone with curly or wavy hair at some point or another had crispy, moussey hair when they were younger. That's just what we did. We didn't know what we were doing. Wash your hair, towel dry it, scrunch in the mousse, and then uh, your hair just looks wet all the time. <laughs> but this is one of my favorites. It's the Herbal Essences Totally Twisted Curl Boosting Mousse. I've been using this for over 10 years. Obviously, when I first started using it, didn't know what I was doing. But now, it's still a favorite. I really, really like it, and I actually know how to use it. I'm wearing it in my hair right now, and I think my hair looks fine. I've got some good definition going on down here. You know? The mousse is really great because it is such a lightweight styler. It's less likely to create a cast unless it's a really strong hold crunchy mousse. It's very unlikely to create a cast on the hair, but it can provide moisture as well as hold and it's ideal for hair types that don't have a definite curl all the way through the shaft. So for us wavies and uh, for those of you who have a very loose curl and fine hair. Even if you have denser hair that is very curly. I mean, if you have really thick, coarse, dense hair that's really curly, you might not be able to use just a mousse. But if you have really curly hair that is dense and on the finer side, mousse can still work really well for you, especially in the winter months when it is really cold and dry outside and your hair tends to get flat and frizzy and lose volume. Mousse is a good way to get your definition get your hold, and get your moisture without weighing your hair down. Now for gel, I do again have the Herbal Essences Totally Twisted Curl Scrunching Gel right here. Um, it's one of my favorite hair gels once I learned how to use it properly. Again, it's another very affordable product. It's humidity resistant, accessible. Uh, you can see I have like nothing left because I use it so often, but it's one of my favorites. When it comes to gels, medium to high density curly hair can benefit from this the absolute most. Looser curls, so this does include 2B waves, so 2B to 3A hair can still use gel, but usually in a lighter formula. And I personally have also found that these lighter gels like the Herbal Essences work better on my hair than like really heavy, like the Eco Styler gel. I could never use that. It's so thick, it's so heavy, it's so oily. It's just way too high beat for my hair type, but these lighter water soluble silicone gels or jellies do work better on my hair texture. The main benefit you're gonna get from most gels is that it does lock in moisture. And generally when using a gel, we tend to use cream products. So when you're using gel with a cream product, even if your gel is a moisturizing gel like the Eco Styler gel, the general rule of thumb is to use them in a two to one curl cream to gel ratio and basically the gel is meant to be a last step to seal everything in. I used to actually use gel before my wave maker uh, which is a cream product but then I learned to do it the other way around and yes the gel is more effective when applied last. So understanding the main differences between mousse and gel and what they do you can combine them which a lot of us do even though gel generally should be applied as the last step so it can create the cast and then you can scrunch the cast out with an oil, I personally chose to do the mousse gel mousse technique today and my results aren't too bad, not too shabby. It's really up to you and how you would like to combine the two or if you just want to use the one. It's a lot easier to decide what you want to do with either mousse or gel once you read the ingredients and kind of assess your current situation as far as your hair type, your curl pattern or your wave pattern, the density of your hair, as well as the weather. And even though mousse is seen as like the most ideal styler for fine hair and gel seems like the most ideal styler for 
thick, dense, curly hair. Don't feel limited by whatever hair type you have. It's just easier to understand which mousses and gels will work better for you when you take a look at your actual hair type. However, your hair type is not, uh, you know, the end all be all when it comes to picking a styler. These two are just the most commonly used. So it's a lot easier to understand how to use them and how to combine them when you know what each does and who's going to benefit from them the most. So pretty much once you understand what your hair likes and which mousse and gel works for you, the options are endless as far as your applications go. You can rake it, you can rope it, you can scrunch it, you can squish to condish, you can do the praying hands, you can wet style, you can damp style, and they'll all give you different results depending on the techniques. But as always, it's up to you and your hair and your preferences. So to my fellow wavies and even my curlies who watch these videos, I hope this video was helpful if you have been wondering which one works better because I've gotten some comments asking about gel and mousse and saying, you know, I don't know which one works better for me or oh, I tried gel and it didn't work out for me or oh, I tried mousse and my hair felt crunchy. Whatever it may be, it'll be a little bit easier for you to decide what you want to use now. So if you found this video helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up so I know that you liked it. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I would love to have you here. And if you want to keep up with me over Instagram stories, you can go ahead and follow me over there. That's pretty much it. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.